In a not-so-surprising revelation by the January 6th committee, a former lawyer in the Trump White House had advised his client to lie about the events of January 6th. So now, according to CNN, Stefan Pasatino uh, had allegedly advised his then-client, former White House aide, Cassidy Hutchinson, to tell the committee that she didn't know, she didn't recall the details that she had done. Sources familiar with the committee's work had told the outlet. The icing, of course, in the shit cake happens to be the fact that Pasatino was the top ethics attorney in the Trump White House. The irony. Oh, the irony. More details from the report. Trump's Save America PAC funded Pasatino and his law firm Elections LLC, including paying for his representation of Hutchinson, other sources told CNN. Um, now, Hutchinson, of course, who is not a lefty. She's nobody's progressive, okay? She's as conservative as they come. But apparently her line, like a lot of lines that we've seen in, in Washington, surprisingly, with the Republican Party, is that, oh, yeah, we're not quite down with overthrowing the country for Donald Trump. Now, now we, we love power, and we love the money, and we love the prestige, and, you know, look, we don't want to overthrow the country. We just don't want to, after our time in government, hit the revolving door, just like everybody else, and get fat lobbyist jobs. That's, all we, that's, all, that's really all we wanted. A lot of these congressional staffers, that's what they go in for. They go into politics so that they can come out on the other side and get massive business deals and tons and tons of money without the scrutiny, by the way, uh, of the media, without the scrutiny of the you know, uh, other politicians, the political scandals, etc. They're out of that limelight and they can just sit back and collect checks. But overthrowing the country is a line too far for them. They were not interested. And so, of course, over the summer, Hutchinson testified, which is where we got all the fun stuff, of course, about Donald Trump throwing his hamburgers uh, against the wall with the, with the ketchup that's uh, dripping down the, the, the wall, and even allegedly fighting with his driver on January 6th, grabbing the wheel, you know, and um, trying to, to take the car to uh, the actual riot. So now we find out that before her public testimony, of which she ended up actually getting a lot of death threats uh, and things from conservatives, Hutchinson had dropped that lawyer, Pasantino, and actually got a different lawyer, which I think was pretty interesting. And why would that be? Hmm, maybe she, again, didn't want to go with the lawyer that was paid for by one of Trump's PACs and was telling her, hey, you know, the thing, the, the, the thing that you went through and that you remember from January 6th, you actually don't remember that. Uh, that's not what happened. Tell this story instead. So, um, look, I think dropping that lawyer obviously is the correct decision because this guy was paid for by the Trump uh, you know, by one of Trump's PACs, advising his client to lie in order to, at the end of the day, protect Trump and the administration. And so that, when you look at that, it also seems to be illegal. It seems to be obvious obstruction of justice. According to the report, the lawyer had advised a witness that the witness could, in certain circumstances, tell the committee that she did not recall facts when she actually did recall them. Again, we call that a when the witness raised concerns with her lawyer about that approach, according to the summary, the lawyer said, they don't know what you know. They don't know that you can recall some of these things. You know, like I said, omit things. Lie to them. Now, uh, they continued with the conversation. So you're saying, I don't recall is an entirely acceptable response to this? The lawyer instructed the client about a particular issue that would cast a bad light on President Trump. No, 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 no. We don't want to go there. We don't want to talk about that, said the report. So, hmm. Gee, I, I wonder why you don't want to talk about that. When asked about pressure on Hutchinson after Monday's eve uh, hearing, committee member Zoe Lofgren told CNN, 
She was advised to say that she didn't recall something when she did, so that's pretty serious stuff. Lofgren also said later that the witness believed this was an effort to affect her testimony, i.e. witness tampering, and we are concerned that these efforts may have had a, uh, been a strategy to prevent the committee from finding out the truth. Now, Pasantino, of course, denies the allegation, saying, oh, no, 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 I just, I represented Ms. Hutchinson honorably, ethically, and fully consistent with her sole interests as she communicated them to me. Not my fault. I, I, I believed her sole interests were to not tell the truth to the committee. I, I mean, I, I believe that she believed that, and then she told me, okay, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. Now, addressing the funding, he also said that political committees sometimes cover the client fees at the client's request. Now, seeing it, it's, look, um, she wanted Trump's PACs to pay for me. I, I can't control that. What's wrong with that at all? So now let's look at the money. I, I don't have a, a figure in how much he himself was paid. However, there is a lot of money from Trump's PACs that are going to legal representation that I'm sure he had partaken of. So let's get into that. Elections LLC, a political law practice Pasentino and other Trump lawyers founded after he left the Trump White House, has received regular payments from Save America PAC and other Trump PAC, uh, I'm sorry, Trump backed groups, according to FEC filings. The Save America PAC distributions to the firm for legal consulting totaled more than $150,000 in 2021 and about 275000 in 2022. Firm also has worked for major Republican congressional campaigns. All right. Trump's Save America PAC has also made payments to several other law firms representing witnesses in the January 6th and the Mar-a-Lago investigations. So that is uh, Republican donor money, by the way, going to um, these PACs that are paying lawyers to, that apparently are telling their clients just to lie or omit things during, test, during sworn testimony. Hmm, interesting. And, and by the way, you, you could just, you know, invoke the Fifth Amendment. That, that is something that you could do. Like, hey, I don't want to incriminate myself. So I just, I plead the Fifth. You could do that. So why come up with this, you know, Oh, I, I don't necessarily recall this and have to lie about it. Just no, you you could just be like, I I I plead the fifth. I don't want to incriminate myself. Th that would be smarter to do if you really wanted to not give out that information. Or yeah, as as some of you point out, you could just tell the truth, which is what Hutchinson had done, <laughs> as far as we know. So that said, as a lawyer, obviously advising your client to do this kind of thing is, well, questionable. You're actually supposed to follow a standard of ethics, which as an ethics lawyer, you would think that that is the case, that they would do so, but apparently, no, they don't. Now, one of the things that... Uh, you're not supposed to do as a lawyer is avoid, uh, or I'm sorry, what you're supposed to do as a lawyer is to avoid conflicts of interest that could compromise you and your representation of a client. I would say getting paid by Donald Trump's PACs to defend Donald Trump and his interests in an investigation about Donald Trump uh, would, you know, violate, uh, would, would present a conflict of interest. According to legal ethics experts, a lawyer swaying their client's testimony in a way that wouldn't be entirely truthful could be looked at as possible obstruction of an investigation. Now, that said, um, is Pasentino under criminal, you know, indictment or investigation? No, not at all. No, they pretty much ignored him at this point. That said, it seems like if they wanted to, they could look into him for obstruction, and maybe they are, and we don't know it. And it wouldn't, and by the way, if they look into him for obstruction, they might have to wait because they're also looking at a ton of other people who are also uh, doing a, a possible obstruction. In fact, 
uh, the committee had given several examples of evidence uh, suggesting specific efforts to obstruct their work, obstructing Congress. They noted efforts by Trump to contact certain witnesses, as well as multiple Secret Service agents, hiring private lawyers rather than agency-provided lawyers who would represent them for free. A Secret Service driver's lawyer admitted to writing notes to the driver as they testified about what was being said, according to the committee. So, look, are we surprised? No, not really. It turns out, yes, people will lie for money, and we'll try to get other people to lie for money, too. I know. 